This is the notebook for energy conservation with a rubber band. Here's the little diagram where we've got our rubber band attached to the legs of the table and it's stretched back. The delta XS in this table is the distance the spring is stretched. On part two, we have a different delta X, which I call delta X disc. That's the distance that the weight went. It's actually, I guess I could have put weight, but anyway, that's the distance and that you'll need the time and that distance and from that you'll find the average velocity and the final velocity. The formulas you'll need are our old friend potential energy of a spring is one half times k times the distance you st stretch the spring squared. The force in the spring because we'll have to find the k and uh, the force of the spring is equal to the spring constant k times the change in distance. The kinetic energy is one half times the mass times the v squared so we'll need the mass to calculate that and we are old standbys the average velocity is delta x over delta t and it's also equal to the initial plus the final divided by two which is really handy because in this case our final velocity is zero so what we're going to need the first thing we have to do in this lab is we're going to have to find by the way going back up here my potential energy of the spring is how much energy it has when it goes all the way back if you don't have any loss to friction which you'll have almost none when you have the air disc on is when it gets to here it will all turn into kinetic energy now when we get to part two where we have a weight there will be some friction as the rubber band pulls so you'll have some loss so all the potential energy will either turn into kinetic energy or loss due to friction again that's the big uh, concept of this lab of, of this whole of these series of labs is that you never lose energy you energy is never destroyed you may lose it for being able to do what you want to do but if you have potential energy and it goes away it's either going to turn into kinetic energy or loss or later we'll find it could turn into rotational energy but it's going to go somewhere that you can't keep track of so from the probe on this I pulled the rubber band back with the disc in it like you saw in the video I pulled it back and I measured a force of 17.4 Newton using my play button. My delta X was 0.5. And from that, I found my K was 34.8. And that goes in here. And I went ahead and put it in both places because that's not, we're going to assume that doesn't change. Then I used my formula for potential energy of the spring and calculated my spring uh, potential energy. Then I let it go. And as you saw in the video, I got this off the table in the graphical analysis. And I calculated my K the actual, actual meaning act, what I measured using my measured velocity and I multiplied it out I got 4.52 which is actually obviously physically impossible to get more out than I put in but as you saw in the video it's hard to get an accurate uh, velocity measurement so my difference is I use the formula here and by the way when you on your notebook you want to write this stuff down if I can take the time to write it down you can it just takes an extra minute and it's good practice to writing these formulas down. Even though I give them to you, the more familiar you all are with them, the more likely you are to know how to solve them on a test. So I plug my numbers in, and I got 3.9%, which is pretty good for a lab experiment. Then for part two, when I let it go, I found my average velocity and 1.5 for 1.2, at delta x over delta 2, and then I multiplied that by 2 to get my final velocity and that goes there's my time and my distance that I measured those two calculated that calculated that and then I'm going to find these two just like I did before and there's my work I plug in the numbers and I got that so I had 28 percent it's really not an error because it's not an error I expected to lose some so I lost uh, almost a third of the energy to friction on the rubber band later on we may do more complicated things with that but the, again the big thing to remember that you're trying to learn that going to need to understand for this unit is that the potential energy you start with will either turn into kinetic energy or lost energy. Good luck.